Well, you okay. know, you should have told us that okay. instead of riding away and playing all of these theatrics. You could have just real told us. I'm sorry. No, officer. you're not sorry. You could have, you, you could have took I am this sorry. thing real quick. But no, you wanted to play the game. I was complying. Well, you're the one that complained. I was. You said get off the road, get off the road. No, you didn't. Looks like Ezra Miller's time as the major character in The Flash may be coming to an abrupt end. However, this is no quiet retreat as there's a lot of drama attached to this decision. Why is Ezra Miller being kicked off this movie after a very long and successful run? And what do they have to say about this? In this video, we'll be talking about Ezra Miller's furious reaction to losing his role in The Flash. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number seven, Ezra Miller and The Flash's Journey. Ezra Miller is one of the most sought after Hollywood stars, but it looks like this is about to change. After having a successful run through many movies over the course of his career, including Cakey, The Cake from Outer Space, Californication, We Need to Talk About Kevin, and The Perks of Being a Wallflower, it looks like his time on screen may be coming to a disastrous end. According to an official statement from Ezra Miller, they wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to play the role of The Flash in the DC movie universe if they hadn't been recommended by Zack Snyder in 2016 after first featuring in the Batman vs Superman movie Dawn of Justice. The Fantastic Beasts actor told MTV at Sundance that they got the call to play The Flash from Zack Snyder while being secluded in faraway Costa Rica. I pick it up and my agent's like, listen, I have Zack Snyder on the phone. I gotta put you through. He wants to talk to you about this DC Universe thing. And I was like, what? After featuring in the highly rated movie the following year, Ezra Miller got a lead role with Justice League, earning them a place in the DC Movie Universe Superhero Squad alongside other top acts in the Hollywood industry. Number six, Ezra Miller filmed Choking a Woman. It has been a long journey towards releasing the Flash movie. The original release date was meant to be in 2014, but circumstances led to it being postponed. The pandemic also stopped it from hitting the cinemas in 2020. At the time the pandemic level dropped, the entire storyline was reworked and a change in the director handling the project only meant another date would be set in stone. According to a source, DC executives had penciled down the summer of 2022 for the release date of the movie, but we don't think that is going to be possible at this time following the controversy following the Ezra Miller Flash character. In 2020, footage showing Ezra Miller strangling a woman's neck at a bar surfaced all over the internet. At first, Many people thought the footage was banter between the Hollywood actor and the yet-to-be-identified woman, not until a source who witnessed the event said it was a serious issue and had the people within the bar area not intervened. The situation could have degenerated into a full-blown crisis between Ezra Miller and the woman. Number 5. Ezra Miller was involved in multiple controversies in 2021 in Hawaii. In 2021, the movie director for The Flash, Andy Muschietti, announced on social media that the production for The Flash movie was concluded, raising hope among DC fans worldwide that the movie would be hitting the cinema in 2022. Ezra Miller is a lovable character, and many people across the world were looking forward to seeing them lead the superhero character for the first time. But did that happen? No. Instead of the Flash movie being released in early 2022, the news on every media platform was Ezra Miller being arrested for another offense, and this time, it was in Hawaii. According to Hawaii Outlet, the Fantastic Beasts actor was arrested on the allegation that they were involved in disorderly conduct and harassment charges. According to police department sources, Ezra Miller began to feel agitated because patrons at the karaoke bar were singing a rendition of Shallow from A Star Is Born. The source also said the Hollywood actor attacked a man playing darts inside the bar, but not without first grabbing the mic forcefully from a woman singing a karaoke song. Due to the disorderliness caused by Ezra Miller, the Hawaii police fined the actor $500, but the fine was paid by a couple the actor was staying with at the hotel. 
Also, a week after the incident at the karaoke bar, another video surfaced again on the internet, and this time, Ezra Miller was involved in a brawl with the police, though the Hawaii police didn't press charges. Number four, Ezra Miller may be sued by Oliver Ignatius and rapper Gaius Guevara. Ezra Miller and Oliver Ignatius had co-written a song together when the pair met at Northeast and Hawaii. According to a joint statement released by Oliver Ignatius and rapper Gaius Guevara, Ezra Miller stole the song they all worked on together. Trouble started when Ezra Miller released the song online without giving credit to others, to either Oliver Ignatius or Gaius Guevara. And when Oliver Ignatius threatened Ezra Miller that he would be suing, a check on The Flash actor showed the link to the song had been taken off their social media, which wasn't the case before the threat of lawsuit issued by Oliver Ignatius. Number three, child grooming allegations. Aside from street fighting and frequent clashes with the police, Ezra Miller is also facing allegations that they are involved in child grooming. The news was first published by the Daily Beast publication. According to the report, a 12-year-old non-binary gave detailed information on how the Fantastic Beasts actor has been placed on their target list. The Massachusetts-based family said the issue that they had with Ezra Miller was because they called their neighbor, who happened to be in the same band with their friend, Whitney Sutters, their tribe. She said immediately that Ezra Miller snapped and accused them of cultural appropriation. Unknown to her, they were putting on a bulletproof vest and had a weapon. The woman said the scary part of the whole situation was that Ezra Miller and their group were armed and probably under the influence. The child also accused Ezra Miller of inappropriate touching. The mother said they filed a case at their local courthouse in Greenfield, asking the court to grant them a restraining order from the Fantastic Beast actor. Number two, DC may wield the stick on Ezra Miller. With a series of controversies hanging on Ezra Miller's neck in recent times, there are reports that Warner Brothers, the parent company of DC, might be considering wielding the big stick on Ezra Miller anytime soon. There are three options available to the studio to consider, and the top echelons at DC are weighing their options to know what is best for business. Some of the options being considered are that the Fantastic Beast actor will have to accept that he needs help and seek the right treatment. The studio will arrange a short camera interview with the limited press for The Flash, then the movie will be released as scheduled. Another option being considered in the event that the first approach didn't work is that Warner Brothers will release the movie without any blockbuster premiere that will feature Ezra Miller. Based on this plan, THC reported that after The Flash, DC will cut ties with the actor, meaning for any future projects involving the studio, Ezra Miller won't be on the team. The last of the three options DC Studios is considering is to close the books on the project. If DC management forges ahead with this option, they will be cutting off the Flash project entirely. The Flash movie will never be released after all the investment made by the studio. However, we believe this hardline option will only be pursued if the controversy and lawsuit surrounding Ezra Miller's private life remain in this current state or if it affects the review of the movie on the big screen. So, if DC proceeds with this option, Ezra Miller will be replaced and the entire movie will be shot using another actor, meaning we are in for a further delay and the chances of The Flash hitting the cinema in 2022 or 2023 is not feasible. Number one. Ezra Miller's reaction to getting taken off the Flash project. For now, there hasn't been any formal reaction or statement from Ezra Miller about any potential rift with Warner Brothers in case they are dropped from the Flash movie. According to a report by Deadline, DC management is trying everything they can to help the Flash actor get all the help they need to get back in shape. A source privy to the matter said, this is an inherited problem for David Zaslav. The hope is that the scandal will remain at a low level before the movie is released and hope for the best to turn out. There is no doubt about Warner Brothers' commitment to the Flash project. A huge amount of money has been sunk into the project. And if there is one thing the studio management is thinking about at the moment, it is how they can release the Flash movie to minimal backlash, either with Ezra Miller or another character. And that's a wrap 
for today's video. You can let us know what you think in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others that we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Do you want to keep the entertainment going? Check out this related video to see more. I will see you in the next video.